my friends and welcome back to another tutorial all about pine tree branches. For my branches, jumping right into my color mixing, I'm taking some burnt umber with some lunar black to give a nice rich dark brown and some raw umber with a little bit of titanium white to make a creamier, lighter brown. And you can add a little bit of Indian red if you wanted. Really, it's up to you as far as warmth and coolness of your browns. And of course, I have some green here for my first green. I'm taking some sap green with some lemon yellow and mixing that up. And then in a separate little pool, I am making some deep sap green and adding a little bit of that Indian red to calm it down. For this green, a bit more darker, I've got some sap green and some deep sap green mixed in with some Indian red. And then my favorite combination is some perylene green with some Indian red. Jumping right into my first branch, which is just a basic branch. Now I am no, I believe it's called a dendrologist. <laughs> I am not someone who studies trees, so I'm not, this could be any type of pine as in like a white pine maybe a douglas fir I'm not really sure they just have the very long uh, needles that kind of come out but they all move forward and they're at the tip of the branch so for the branch i went ahead and did a little bit of a very choppy um uh, hand motion to give the branch some texture and I am now taking some of the perylene green with some of that lemon yellow green that's what I'll refer to it as and just intermixing the colors and uh, going ahead and pulling from each of those areas to give it some different color variation. Now for my second pine I am doing the same thing I'm almost as if I'm coloring in or drawing in the branch now in my mind this is more of a Douglas fir and of course you can look at some uh, images to get an idea of what these look like I decided to do two branches here instead of that dark brown I pulled from the raw umber and the titanium white to give it a bit more creamier uh, brown and then I decided to start first with the lighter green and then I go ahead and go over it with the darker green now with these tutorials I wanted to have a fun question what smell, image, or sound trigger nostalgia for you? This has nothing to do with the video, but I thought what a fun way to get to know my audience and make a connection and to tell you a little bit more about me. Well, what's fitting with these pines is my first fun memory um, that really brings back nostalgia is honestly the forest. I grew up in the forest pine needles were everywhere so that is definitely mine so probably why I love landscapes um, from photography to now painting <laughs> painting them so a little obsessed but let me know in the comments below what yours is because I want to know who you are where you're from your age everything let me know in the comments below all right getting started with the third pine now I'm doing the stem in green now I'm pulling from that deep sap green and the sap green and this one is more of a redwood pine branch so I have some stems coming out and on each of those stems we're going to do tiny little pine needles now for majority of these pines I am using the Princeton Heritage Round 6 brush I typically like to use this brush when it comes to botanicals or in this case um, pine needles <laughs> so I am pulling from dropping in that darker green and adding in some of so the perylene green and then also using some of that sap green now as far as the motion I am just doing little lines and I'm either connecting them from the branch moving outward or you notice on the left hand side I am then drawing them into the branch so it really doesn't matter it's just some lines I'm dropping in some darker paint and then using some lighter paint just pulling from those 
uh, paint uh, areas on my palette. <laughs> So, and now these ones go all the way down. So that's what I'm doing here. And it's quite therapeutic. This, it's, you don't have to think too much about this particular um, stem. I think with all the stems, you don't have to think too much. But yeah, and I'm doing a little bit of a dry brushing. As you can see, some of that paint um, in the other branches has separated. And I really like that look and it gives a fun texture. All right, we are already on to um, our number four. And this one is what I think of as a juniper. Now, typically juniper branches have some of those uh, berries, I want to say. Um, but you can also do a cedar, uh, kind of similar. But with the juniper, I made the, um, the green part of the branch very leggy and lengthy and a bit wispy so you'll see me doing that here of course I'm starting with the branch and I have that dark brown again and you can really do whatever shade of brown you want warm it up with some red um, it's really up to you you can add yellow to add more of that uh, creamy tan that you will see in some of the pine branches it's really up to you and now from there, I'm extending that branch to have it be green. And once I'm done with that, then I'm going to add tiny little branches coming off each of those, almost like a fern, but not quite. So you see me doing that here. So very easy, very simple. Um, you know, of course, these are really fun if you wanted to make a wreath or if you wanted to make... Um, I don't know, cards or whatever. <laughs> it's just fun to doodle. Well, I guess this isn't so much doodling, but to me, this is doodling because I'm not super big on drawing, though I have been getting into doodling with Procreate, which I find for some reason a bit easier for me. So yes, drawing is not my strong point. I just want to dive in with paints. <laughs> So that's what I do. All right, so once you're done with that, go ahead and take any of the greens that you have made and just drop in some little splotches. I'm just kind of um, smushing my brush and making these very delicate, tiny little pine needles that are coming off everywhere. And I pull from every green and I drop in some green just to give some variation. Uh, it's, I guess when I look at these, it's a, it's a bit different as far as your basic watercolor. Um, when you, when, at least when I think of watercolor, um, botanicals, um, you know, it's a bit more of a dry brush, bit more texture, uh, very rich. So, um, I really like that. Let me know if you like this style as well. Um, yeah, but I enjoy it. So I just do that for all of these branches and stems and you can fill it in as needed and I think it looks quite nice. Now for our last one I'm pulling some of that dark brown again and I do mix in a little bit of the light brown but this one is a blue spruce. Now these ones they're a bit more tannish reddish warm as far as the branch and then the um, pine needles themselves are a bit more on the blue side and you can see them with having more of that pale creamy blue and you can also um, of course see them uh, be dark and light green now I am adding some texture on the side because when you look at a pine branch you do see that they have those little knobs um, on them and as far as the direction of the stems, I'm connecting them from the branch and making them go out, but of course, slightly up. And I also want the branches to overlap. I don't want them to be perfectly straight going in one direction. I want them to overlap as well. And then I go in with a darker shade of green. I'm using the perlene green because that typically is a bit cooler. Now, if you want it a bit more blue, then of course you can add some blue. Um, you could do Prussian blue, or I would probably choose maybe cobalt blue. It really is up to you. And you do not need these colors to make these branches. 
whatever green you have, whatever yellows you have, whatever, you know, darken it with black, lighten it with white, or lighten it with water. Really, it's your, it's your canvas, so to speak. So do what you want. Now, you can keep that brown a little bit wetter, so when you do pull from the stem, you will um, get that brown that will then go with the, the, with your stroke, so you'll get some, some brown color in there as well, which is fun. Now I am just adding in some filler uh, greenery, pine greenery, and doing a little bit more of some basic pine branches. So um, because I wanted it to be a bit more aesthetically pleasing, but honestly, I think I overdid it and did too many. <laughs> and I added some pine cones, very, very loose style of pine cones, which of course I'm going to show you here in a moment, but it was a lot of fun. But when it comes to placement, it might not be a bad idea to paint some samples, cut them out, and then you can place them. Or of course, you can always draw these ahead of time, but that is not something that I enjoy doing, so I don't do it. <laughs> but do whatever you want. This purpose of this video is just to show my take on how I paint different styles of pine branches. So, but hopefully you enjoy, um, enjoy painting these. So I do love um, some winter greenery. I'm doing another one in a different color and you can see that I'm really doing that dry brush here because the branches have separated. It's a cloudy day um, when I have filmed this video so the lighting has changed a bit and I'm in winter which from my analytics it seems like most of you are in the United States and winter as well but let me know where are you from? Um, I am curious. I am on the West Coast, so in the mountain area of the West Coast, and we have lots and lots of snow and storms. Well, I think we've all been in some crazy storms at the moment, at least the time of recording this video. Uh, now I decided to spice it up and add in another one of those redwood um, uh, pine branches so and using a different shade of green this time that more blue green versus the warmer uh, green so other colors you can add to your greens are some browns you don't have to use red i really like using red you can even add purple that's another uh, beautiful uh, shade to get a different hue of green i love green can you tell i also have green nails <laughs> which is fun so but anyway, these are fun, a nice little break from my landscapes, even though landscapes are something that I am obsessed with painting. I decided to add a few more branches here and a couple more stems for the green. And I pulled from the uh, lemon yellow uh, greens and thought that would be kind of fun because if you look at some pine branches a lot of that new growth is very bright vibrant green and it is definitely more on the lighter side so that's what i ended up doing here and now i am adding my very loose very messy pine cones i think they're pretty cute can you do better pine cones of course so if you have any tips on um, the best videos you've watched for people painting pine cones, then let me know who they are and I would gladly watch them. But I do not take too much time on painting, I guess, subjects, um, like this. I, I mean, obviously I do greenery and stuff, but as far as animals or houses, that's not something I tend to paint. So I'm not as skilled or up to date on techniques for that because I do a lot of landscapes that's mostly what I paint but this is how I do my pine cones I just make a bunch of dots and I kind of connect them together <laughs> and make the shape of a pine cone and I think it's fine I think they turn out pretty cute especially for this style so um let me know what you think but as far as that, that's about it. But I hope you got some value in this video and let me know if you enjoyed it. Please be sure to give it a like and subscribe if you haven't already. 
and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care guys and happy painting. Bye.